In 1946, a physicist by the name of Dr. Robert Wilson published a paper called The Radiological Use of Fast Protons. In this paper, he described how high-speed beams of protons coming out of a particle accelerator could be targeted or shot at cancer cells, and when those protons hit the cancer cells, they would damage the DNA of those cells, thus either killing the cells or preventing them from replicating. And in this paper, he also described how protons because of the Bragg peak effect could be used to a doctor's benefit so that they could deliver this high energy beam of protons into the body and stop those protons inside of the tumor, thus avoiding healthy tissues and critical organs past the tumor from getting exposed to radiation. So who was Robert Wilson? Well, he was born in 1914 in Wyoming. He grew up uh, on ranches in Wyoming. In 1932, he enrolled at the University of California, Berkeley, and by the mid-1930s, he was working at the radiation laboratory at the University of California under the tutelage of Ernest Lawrence, perhaps the most famous scientist in the world at that point in time in the field of particle acceleration. Another famous individual working with Robert Wilson at the radiation laboratory was Robert Oppenheimer, would go on to become the head of the Manhattan Project. Robert Wilson as well joined the Manhattan Project, and in 1945, he and the team were out in New Mexico preparing for the world's first detonation of a nuclear weapon. As that detonation occurred, Robert Wilson recalled later on in life, uh, he was there and he remembered thinking, I'm part of this. I am part of creating this weapon that could potentially destroy the human race. Now, what can I do to take the technology that we've refined and enhanced on the Manhattan Project and look for good? How can I find altruistic uses for, as an example, particle acceleration? And it was less than a year later in 1946 that he published this paper, The Radiological Use of Fast Protons. And that's what kicked off the proton therapy industry. And so today, we consider Robert Wilson the father of proton therapy.